Oh. Hello YouTube, Sentinel H here. Welcome back to our let's build of a fusion power plant, uh, reactor craft fusion fire plant. So um, the room I have to show you today, uh, and a couple of things we want, I want to talk about today, is with the deuterium and tritium fuel supply for the uh, reactor. Obviously now that we have the preheaters, I don't know why it's so dark in here, lighting bugs. Um, the next thing that I want to, I'm trying to get done is the fuel source. Now, a couple of obstacles to that. For one, I don't know the exact amount of uh, fusion plasma that want, that each of these injectors uses per second. Um, I also don't know how much deuterium and how much tritium the preheater requires per second. I have to ask Reka. I haven't talked to him recently. Um, but anyway, first of all, uh, I built this room. Um, I'm going to build a similar room behind each one of the uh, preheaters. Now, the thing about this room right here is that it's not nearly large enough, I don't think. Um, I haven't decided whether this is going to be the water room or the uh, actual room with the uh, fission reactors in it for the stuff. Now, I have this gigantic space in here. Um, and if I was to build another one of those rooms over here, I'd, ha I'd still have a, a, quite a large uh, area over here, which is probably where I'll end up putting the uh, fission reactors because they'll fit and this is quite a large area to build quite a large fission reactor and then we'll probably pump liquids in and out of these uh, side rooms. Um, so I labeled these two pipes. Uh, this pipe will be deuterium and this pipe will be tritium which means that on uh, this reactor over here this pipe will be tritium and that pipe will be deuterium and then deuterium and tritium tritium and deuterium so that we we have it uh, going through on each side um, now that means that this reactor over here uh, or the setup system over here really only has to produce deuterium uh, the one over here only has to produce tritium and then deuterium and then tritium so we that might be able to um, help it out uh, but what I'm trying to do is make a single reactor that will power that will supply it all for one preheater unit um, and we'll get to that in a second uh, when we'll go into a test world um, so one of you and i forgot your name again i'm sorry i did that uh, suggested dew point aggregators uh, as a water supply and so i have attached one and the amount of power here is is eight megawatts and you'll see it very quickly even one of these things with eight megawatts is producing uh, a, quite a large amount of water so we can totally run the facility off these dew point aggregators I don't know how many we're gonna need probably a lot because we need to supply enough water for the um, uh, fuel supply as well as an enormous amount of water for the actual um, uh, steam boilers up there but that's how we're gonna get our water uh, with dew point aggregators now that does mean I would not put this facility in a desert of course, if you have it built on an ocean, you can use heavy water structures anyway. Um, I widened the size of this tower uh, to accommodate high pressure turbines. Um, if you look, this tower space here is, I think, uh, 13 blocks across that way and then 14 or so or 15 that way. Uh, if you compare the size of that to that, it's quite a bit larger. So a high pressure turbine will fit in here. Uh, it will fit uh, horizontally with one uh, empty square on each side, and it'll fit uh, in this direction with enough room to run a steam line on this end and a um, an electric craft uh, motor and some electrical cable on this end. That's how we're going to get the power out. So this tower size is large enough. We can stack uh, high pressure turbines. Um, vertically inside of them and then we'll have glass uh, panes on these three sides uh, as well as perhaps this side or perhaps not um, so that you can see uh, if you're walking past you can look in through the glass and you can see the turbines running which would be pretty cool. So that's what I've got in the facility so far. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm thinking that I will access these lower rooms by uh, an elevator um, so my initial uh, idea, my initial plan is to use this part here right next to the entrance, although that may or may not end up happening, uh, depending on how I build this door, which I'm, I'm thinking of just, I'm thinking of using Tinker's Networks uh, advanced drawbridge blocks for the doors. Um, 
And then I may have a, an elevator down here, which I could use uh, draw. I don't know if I could use drawbridge blocks for that, but we'll see. Uh, I may have to use a frames of some sort. I don't know if this mod has them though. Uh, that's the initial plan. Let me know what you think. Uh, I need suggestions here. Suggestions would be very helpful. What do you think of the design on the walls? I kind of like it. I like how the, the room is kind of broken up. It's all very white, uh, which is what I want for this facility. I want it to be very sterile looking. Um, so we've got water. We've got this room. We've got towers of the right size. So now we're going to switch over to a, a testing world because I didn't dare do it here in case the reactor exploded. Uh, and take a look at the kind of madness um, that I'm experimenting with for the fuel system. And we'll be right back. All right, so here we are. Um, it is, if this looks crazy, it's because it is. Uh, and it's not optimized in any way, shape, or form. And I'm probably going to rebuild the entire thing. But what I've got, what I'm trying to do is, is figure out how much tritium and deuterium this uh, preheater unit uses. Um, I don't have enough tritium production. You can see it's going down. Uh, over here is deuterium, which is also going down. I've, I've got, uh, this is oxygen coming out of these uh, electrolyzers. I've got three electrolyzers producing deuterium, uh, and so we don't have quite enough heavy water production, and it's also going down. Um, so what's happening here is that I'm attempting to produce all of these resources, the entire fuel system for one of these high, uh, preheaters, uh, using one reactor and I wanted to see if I could use just my six core linear reactor to do it and the answer seems to be almost. Um, I think if I had two or three more cores this would probably work. Um, if we take a look at what we've got, it's not completely symmetrical because I haven't evened it out yet. What I was, what I'm going to do, what I was going to do is put three rows of uh, neutron irradiation chambers that are converting uh, regular water into heavy water, and then I've got um, three rows of uh, irradiation chambers converting deuterium into tritium uh, on each side. So that's six rows, but that's not enough tritium. So I probably need to have a couple of more columns here, so a few more reactor cores. Uh, I'm just voiding the steam at the moment because I don't care about it, but after that, this is all done. We'll see. Um, of course, it would be nice if I didn't even need steam boilers, but I'm pretty sure that this kind of stuff doesn't cool them off. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty crazy right here. Um, we're running tritium in one end and, and deuterium in the other end of this uh, preheater unit, and the, the pipes are currently full because I don't actually have an injector on this. But you can see that now that the pipe isn't full, it's currently producing. So if I go over to the tritium reserve, you can see that it is indeed uh, ticking down. Um, so I definitely need some more uh, tritium production, but I think I'm close uh, to getting it down. Of course, then I have to um, make this system much more efficient because there's no way it's going to fit in the space that I had in that one room. Um, but then I'd probably put the, this in the uh, one of the diagonal rooms. And then figure it out from there. So it'd be really nice. I, 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 I'm not an expert in this at all. I'm just sort of flying by ear. It'd be really, really cool if any of you guys watching uh, know about these reactors or want to try and help me out. Uh, the best way, and this is full again, so I need to put some more reservoirs down. I don't know how to avoid this stuff. Um, is uh, if you want to try and help out uh, and, and create a fuel system using a, f a fission reactor here, um, by all means, please go ahead. Um, it would be, be awesome. Because what, so what I'm trying to do, uh, just to reiterate, what I'm trying to do is have a system that goes from standard water, which will be produced by those dew point aggregators, um, but I'm just using a reservoir with infinite water, go from standard water all the way to uh, de enough deuterium and tritium to power a preheater unit using a single reactor. Uh, I don't know what kind of reactor is best for that. I don't know if it's linear or not. This linear reactor does seem to produce an awful lot of neutrons um, out the sides very, very quickly. Um, there's a lot of... so it seems like it would be pretty uh, decent. Um, of course, obviously, I'm going to isolate and shield the edges in the actual build. 
So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going from liquid water, normal water, all the way to uh, tritium in one reactor. And I want to, I need to, but I don't know what the most efficient way to do that is. Um, so if you want to help out, by all means, work on it and then submit uh, your designs to me, put them up in a video or something, or send me the uh, a world file, or, or just uh, tell me how you have it set up. I'd love to, to get your input, because this is the hard hardest part of this um, whole thing, is going to be getting a fuel system that works. Uh, so I'm sorry I don't have a ton to show you this week, although I, this is d pretty darn crazy um, looking anyway. But that's where I'm at at the moment, is figuring out the fuel system. And then once the fuel system has been ironed out and then made as efficient on space as possible, we'll, I'll, I'll put it into the actual place and then we'll show you that. So uh, I definitely need help with this, so uh, I'm going to talk to Reika, but if you guys uh, want to get involved, please, by all means, get involved. I would love to hear from you. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, stay tuned for future episodes. I'm Set Knowledge, and I'm signing out.